Welcome to a Laozi style teaching. The tale that can be told is not the eternal tale. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The nameable is the eternally real. Naming is the origin of all particular things. Free from desire, you realize the mystery. Caught in desire, you see only the manifestations. Yet mystery and manifestations arise from the same source. This source is called darkness. Darkness within darkness, the gateway to all understanding. When people see some things as beautiful, other things become ugly. When people see some things as good, other things become bad. Being and non-being create each other. Difficult and easy support each other. Long and short define each other. High and low depend on each other. Before and after follow each other. Therefore, the master acts without doing anything and teaches without saying anything. Things arise and she lets them come. Things disappear and she lets them go. She has but does not possess. Acts but does not expect. When her work is done, she forgets it. That is why it lasts forever. We join spokes together in a wheel, but it is a center hole that makes the wagon move. We shape clay into a pot, but it is the emptiness inside that holds whatever we want. We hammer wood for a house, but it is the inner space that makes it livable. We work with being, but non-being is what we use. If you want to shrink something, you must first allow it to expand. If you want to get rid of something, you must first allow it to flourish. If you want to take something, you must first allow it to be given. This is called the subtle perception of the way things are. The soft overcomes the hard. The slow overcomes the fast. Let your workings remain a mystery. Just show people the results. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the new course, Dao Zhe Jing, Study the Wisdom and Language of the Most Translated Chinese Taoist Philosopher. The Dao Zhe Jing, along with the Zhuangzi, is a fundamental text for both philosophical and religious Taoism. And strongly influenced other schools, such as Legalism, Confucianism, and Chinese Buddhism, which was first introduced into China, was largely interpreted through the use of Taoist words and concepts. Many Chinese artists, including poets, painters, calligraphers, and even gardeners, have used the Tao Te Ching as a source of inspiration. Its influence has also spread widely outside East Asia. And it's among the most translated works in world literature, only next to Bible. The major ideas of Tao Te Ching are the ineffability of Genesis. Tao is ineffable. The Tao is nameless, goes beyond distinctions and transcends language. The Tao Te Ching advocates female or yin values,、um, emphasizing the passives, solid, and the Quiescent qualities of nature, which is opposed to the active and energetic. Another theme is eternal return, the continual return of myriad creatures to the cosmic principles from which they arose. Human problems arose from the invention of culture and civilization. Emptiness can mean having no fixed preconceptions, preferences, intentions, or agenda. Dao De Jing has been translated into Western language, 
over 250 times, mostly to English, German, and French. Philosophical vacuity is a common theme among Asian philosophical tradition, including Taoism, Wu Wei, effortless action, Buddhism, and some aspects of Confucianism. One could interpret the Tao Te Ching as a subtle of variations and the powers of nothingness. This predates the Buddhist Sangyata philosophy of form is emptiness. Emptiness is form by half a millennium.、Um, it is a famous puzzle which everyone would like to feel he had solved. So you are very welcome to study this new course, Tao Te Ching. In learning the course, print out the PDF of Dao Te Ching text in the introduction chapter, and with it in hand, study the selected chapters in the following lectures. Because there is no subtitle of the text in the video, for each lecture, I will explain word by word the meaning of the classical Chinese text, and then I will explain to you the philosophical implication of this text, often comparing it with other schools of Chinese philosophies. Finally, I will lead you to read the text twice so that you can recite and memorize them.